At first, I was a little critical of it. And I thought, they not telling the truth yet. What are they waiting on? Um, and the reason why, it was good in the first, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. But I was getting a little like, man, when they gonna say what's up? What I mean by that is showing how the government brought crack into the black communities in LA and things to fund the illegal war in Nicaragua and all of this stuff in little South American countries that really didn't mean a damn to America, especially not as important as flooding America with cocaine like they did in the 70s and 80s, especially the 80s. Um, but eventually they got to it. So the way it's set up, it's got interviews from former users, former dealers, and people that would know about what was going on at the time and involved one way or another. They talk about what it was like being a user, being a dealer, uh, different things that, that were involved in and had to go through. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. This is good. Then they finally get into how it's in here. Like, unlike marijuana, where you can grow marijuana in the United States, you really can't grow cocaine. You don't have the climate, the temperature, everything. And uh, if the U.S., you know, wanted to shut it down, they could at any time. What's crazy is you couldn't even bring in one single Cuban cigar because it was illegal because of the trade embargo with Cuba. But they were bringing in kilos and kilos of cocaine. Crazy. Really crazy. Um, it's interesting. They get into it. They talk about what happened. Um, they even have uh, interviews and things about the CIA, which I never knew, actually came. They had one of the directors of somebody come into the black community in California and speak with the people saying they didn't have any involvement. And they like, this is bull snit. That one dude came and told him on the bike. That was funny. Uh, but uh, it was definitely interesting. Um, if you don't know about the history of crack cocaine and how it came into America and how it went specifically to the black community on purpose, engineered to get money to fund illegal wars and, and buy weapons in Iran. In, in Nicaragua and the Iran Contra scandal and Snowfall. That's one of the reasons the TV show Snowfall is so excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent television show Snowfall because it actually talks about this. It actually shows that his connection to get all the drugs is the CIA. That's his connect. And he's selling it all in the hood of California. Getting everybody cracked out. They had crack babies. They was just showing all kind of stuff. They was showing how they targeted the black community. They showed something I didn't know. <laughs> they said that two out of three crack users were white. They made it seem that people that were using crack the most were black. And that white people used powder. Of course, that wasn't true. <clears throat> Something that I even thought was true. And yet and still, everybody was going to jail for it was black. They said that in the Reagan era, I believe, or in the 90s or something like that, that I can't remember offhand. I should have wrote this one down, but I was like, get out of here. Something to the effect of and you guys definitely should watch this one because they talk about a lot of stuff a couple of things that were shocking to me and I lived during this time and was that was my era of young people trying to do this and that um, but they said some things that I never would have thought of or knew about how many people use it versus that um, in that era they said that not a single white person was convicted 
for uh, I hate to say wrong information and uh, that's on me I apologize I should have wrote it down I'm having a tweak moment maybe it's the crack I should have just said no which is another thing that was some bull crap oh I learned something new on this too so if you all remember that era you remember when uh, George Bush held up the bag of crack this right here is crack cocaine. Wouldn't be prudent. Wouldn't be prudent. All right. This right here is destroying the youth of America. <laughs> the dude. Oh, my goodness, man. That story was horrible. That story. I'm going to tell you this story about that. So I didn't know this. And of course, you guys may not have known this either. The crack that George Bush was holding, the dude was like, oh my God, that's my crack. So he was an undercover cop. He was instructed to go and buy crack in front of the White House. So he called up the dude, teenage dude, no priors, no nothing. He said, hey, meet me at the White House. He like, the White House? Man, where the hell is the White House? This dude lived in D.C., didn't even know where the White House is. And uh, he'd instruct them on how to get to the White House. So he basically, this is entrapment. Anyway, the guy come meet up across the street. He's talking about we sitting on the park bench with the White House right there in front of us making a crack deal <laughs> so lo and behold the crack that George Bush was holding up was the one the crack he just bought undercover from dude we learned to found out that that was all done on purpose just so he could have that publicity moment and they put that dude in jail a teenage dude in jail with no priors no nothing and he was basically set up to come there and do that they put him in jail for over 10 years of his life. Over 10 years of his life for that. They talk about how they went too far with, you know, 100 grams of coke get you this sentence, but one gram of crack gets you five to 10 or 20 or 40 years. Crazy, man, crazy. Um, and, uh, you know, definitely gotta see that, definitely. Um, yeah, snowfall, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, you got homework one journey. I'm, I'm giving y'all stuff to do. Um, I'm giving y'all a bunch of stuff to watch tonight. Think I'm gonna try to give y'all something to check out here at night. Crack, surviving depths. Hey, you gotta go ahead. You gotta let me know. I said at the beginning of the video, in case you all missed it. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about these movies and TV shows. I want that homework on time. I want the receipts. Let me know. Snowfall definitely is good. And uh, it, it definitely chronicles what happened. Um, now, of course, it's not true story of real people. But it's a retelling of real events that makes sense um so as for example uh what is it not harlem nights godfather of harlem brain freeze godfather of harlem with with bumpy johnson that's a real person whereas in snowfall um, they're not real people but they're people that did real things and played a part so definitely definitely check it up and uh, that's another thing and they talk about how this one woman was pregnant this right here made me so mad this right here made me so mad and it's so crazy and how the hell did you come up with this so this woman was pregnant 
she gave birth, she was a crack woman. <laughs> a crack woman. She a crack woman. She was half the woman, and on the other half, we didn't know it was cracked in half. She was a crack user. And when she gave birth, the baby was healthy, nothing wrong with it. But they charged her with distribution of crack because sit for 60 seconds for 60 seconds after the baby was born the umbilical cord was still attached and because of that she was distributing drugs to uh, a minor and they gave her like 10 years or something tried to give her years in prison for that what I mean come on man and then this one woman talk about how she went to jail five or six times or whatever for crack. Never once, never once did anybody bring up that, hey, maybe this is not a crime problem, but an addiction problem. Maybe we should get her in the rehab. Maybe we should get her in the help. I mean, it is rehab and help for alcoholics and other people, you know but they never did that and she went to jail lost her kids this that and the other lost the job had the strikes on her back made it hard for her to get other jobs do this and that and it just ruined a lot of people once you got that strike on your back you can't get another job you kind of stuck and men could sell drugs rob do stuff to get money women really couldn't do that as much and they turned to prostitution and things and you know they would show clips of kids crying because they mama getting arrested daddy already was out the house and uh it just destroyed the community destroyed the family and things and it's really horrible and it's it's unfortunate that the treatment that people get for opioid use wasn't available or given to people during that time, people of color. Um, that's just messed up. But, you know, welcome to America. Anyway, um, there you have it. Um, so, definitely, definitely worth checking out. And definitely want to hear your comments on that. You're right, says it was designed for the purposes of keeping people basically with mental shackles on their head 